Welcome to the Gnome Show After Dark, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the new viewers. Um, tonight we're going to check out uh, the Warsaw Machine by Anomaly. Um, doing a, a little spotlight on Anomaly. Um, like uh, this channel apparently is having some issues with YouTube, so you know at least I can um, you know show um, show him some of his stuff um, over here. And uh, maybe you can go show him some uh, love on that channel and his secondary channel, which I do have. Hold on. Um, um, Anomaly Aesthetics is his other channel. So uh, go check him out, too. All right. So um, without further ado, let's check out. Warsaw Machine. <laughs> It looked like an ordinary house, one of those that you can find uninhabited in some neighborhood. But this one was different. It belonged to a man without a wife or children who had died a long time ago. Due to legal matters, his family never attempted to sell or dispute the house, it just remained there, in the middle of the city. In 2001, a couple of teenagers broke into the backyard of the vacant house. They found nothing but a sea of autumn leaves scattered across the ground. However, it didn't take long for them to come across a strange trapdoor hidden beneath the leaf litter. Uh oh. Driven by their typical teenage curiosity, they decided to open it and see what That's could be down there. That's how teenagers die. They grabbed an old camera and documented everything. Zyman and Yaku, cousins, were surprised to find a room that seemed to be a bathroom, although nothing indicated it. It could have easily been a cellar. They were puzzled when they discovered a hole that led to fuck? an even lower level underground. Without much thought, they decided to go down. The descent didn't seem too complex. With the help of a few ropes, they managed to venture into this dark and silent place. The two teenagers wondered no, what could be hidden there, beneath an ordinary nope. house, beneath the house of a man who, as far as they knew, worked as a physics teacher at a school. As they ventured underground, they followed a rocky and narrow tunnel that, in certain segments, seemed to be connected to an underground network predating the hasty excavation they had started with. The silence didn't last long until the teenagers heard a constant noise, similar to that of high-tension cables. After continuing a few more meters, they came across what appeared to be an extremely bright room, from where the noise evidently seemed to emanate, which by then uh -oh. had become more than just annoying to the ear. With some fear but always driven by an irrepressible interest and curiosity, they returned to their homes and planned their return for the next day. Equipped with a good camera, they once again entered the underground area. Upon reaching what seemed to be the end of the tunnel, in that tremendously illuminated room, they found a huge machine wrapped in a strange material resembling spiderwebs. This apparatus emitted intense light from an opening in its center. To the eyes what of the, the two teenagers, this opening seemed to be another hole, but its light was so blindingly white that it was impossible to distinguish what lay beyond. With the help of the camera, they inserted one of their arms and tried to photograph its interior. So I am forcefully reminded of... Um... Um... What is it? Um, the uh, it's a D and D campaign, um, uh, the Tomb of Horrors, uh, and uh, a return to the Tomb of Horrors. Uh, like a, like it, I don't remember. It, it was probably both of them, but there's um, there's one of the traps where it's um, the Oblivion Spear or whatever, uh, and people have been known to like just put their uh, like you know just just put body parts and fucking. Like, uh, like somebody probably put their head in there and fucking it just like, and he just slumped to the ground because, you know, like that's oblivion. 
So this kind of feels like that same thing. Like, why the fuck would you put your fucking arms in here? Like, I can understand putting the camera on a stick in there. But why would you put your fucking arm or any, any fucking body part into a thing like that? I mean, what they captured left them even more confused than before. What the fuck? Wow, that's like, what was that, Interstellar? So it is a quantum computer type thing? This is really fucking cool. Welcome, new viewer. Nice to see you. We're watching um, some stuff from Anomaly. After reviewing the image, the Warsaw they Machine decided to return. There would be other days to decipher that strange record. But something had changed. Upon leaving the room with the enormous machine, they noticed that there was no longer a tunnel behind them, but a narrow corridor leading them back to the hole they had descended from. However, everything was different. The ropes were no longer there, so they had to climb with great effort to get out of there. Once on the time surface, travel? the most terrifying thing happened. They were no longer in the backyard of the vacant house. They found themselves in a sort of abandoned bunker. Once again, there was complete silence. Absolute and total silence. The place seemed to receive light from cracks in the ceiling, but they found no actual light source. It was as if certain corners emitted their own light. I mean, but Despite there are spiders. their fear, they took some photographs of the place. They didn't know how much time had passed, but after exploring a few corridors, they came across a staircase that led them to the surface. It was very dark out there, so much so that in certain places, they had to use the camera's flash to see what lay in front of them. The world seemed to have turned into an extensive landscape filled with dilapidated buildings. Why are there spider webs everywhere? What the fuck? left to die by the passage of time. At times, it gave the impression of having been the victim of a nuclear attack. Nothing made Oops. sense, there was nowhere to go. The cousins were astounded when they realized that what appeared to be the night sky was actually a strange ceiling. Oh, so are you, are you inside a facility? They were apparently still underground but a faint cold breeze blew, much like the one in a park in the early morning. It was impossible not to perceive that place as an interior. It's like after a party or a celebration or something. That's it is unknown what how much time they were trapped the in that place, webs, man. but apparently Where are they the were spiders? never alone. Yeah. Yeah, um, you're fine. I want to know where the fucking... The police yeah, found right? Two young you you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I want to know who made those webs. Like, that, that shit conf concerns me. System. Hold on. Hold, yeah, no, no, no. No old fabrics, my ass. Man, semi-conscious near the... The police found the two young men semi-conscious near the Vistula River in a large pipe that was part of the city's drainage system. Okay, that I am... That, like, initially looked like rapping to me, uh, but that's still fucking, like, that's concerning as fuck. What the fuck? Still want to know where all the fucking spider webs were coming from. Who made the spider webs? Their faces were horribly mangled, and a fungus seemed to have grown over their wounds. Ew. The doctors were never able to determine the type of infection it was, as unfortunately, they passed away two days later. That was fucking creepy and cool. Well done, sir. Um alternate reality type stuff like a like a like a like damn um uh damn like that that's the kind of stuff that i feel would be possible you know like you go poking around with uh you know something that you don't understand 
and all of a sudden you turn around and you're just I mean you're in you're in a place but it's not where you were before um, sound off in the comments what you would do in this situation how would you react to this like would you uh, would you have poked around would you have exited the building when you realized that you were in the like in the wrong quote unquote place um, or would you have tried to stick your fucking hand back in that machine and go back right away I would have tried to go back right away uh, at least to see if I could come and go as I please you know what I'm saying you know um, like subscribe and share uh, I love you all um, I'll see you in the next one